Hello everyone, Jacques with another shave video. Brush, the Samsung Commodore X3 in best. A modern razor today, so this is the mother of Paul um, acrylic handle Dovo Bismarck in 6.8. A beautiful razor with um, a shoulderless design and a nice thumb notch in here with some um, gold etching on the spine. A round point, but uh, these are really classy shavers. I still think it's one of the um, better value for money razors for what you get. They are very well priced. It's 6.8. It's one of the higher end Dovo blades they use or is a high end blade. It's just got acrylic scales on them. They are great. I think I've said that a couple of times. The soap I'm going to use is Master Soap Creations uh, Mentholated Lavender. Today is a warmer day. I want to use this. If you're new to this channel, what you will not find me is do product reviews. I will give you my experience using products over time, not just in a once off little flash in the pan. And I show you how I use it. So I'm lathering from the puck. Many of you guys already know how I do it. I perform face lathering in all my videos. So quickly, Dovo. I've had a couple of videos out uh, about Dovo. Fundamentally, they've been around since the 1900s. Uh, the people that has been running the business, uh, even past Second World War, all people that's very passionate about wet shaving, including the original owners and Fritz Brach that originally took the company over and subsequent management of the Dovo brand. It's a brand, I think because of popularity that gets picked on a lot in a negative way. So if you search for issues um, or when people complain, they tend to bring up Dovo's name a lot more regular than any, anybody else and unfairly so. Once again, these are my experiences. That does not make them true, but I've owned more than 50, 15 different type of Dovo razors over time and I've never had any issues with any of them as described by the people. Those new watching this, most of them, let me put it this way. In order to have a good quality shave, when I had this discussion with my good old friend Toots earlier today, the best way to describe how to achieve a, a, a proper uh, wet shave using a straight razor or a safety razor really doesn't matter, but it's more important for open blade is that many things need to come together for you to have a good shave and hence there's a bit of a learning curve with straight razors but that's more technique thing and I can tell you this menthol on my skin is giving a nice sensation and my eyes might start watering soon really really nice and refreshing now I can't even remember where I was um, so they're good razors Good quality, I've had many of them. This specific Bismarck is based on the Bismarck brand which Dovo acquired in 1957, if I can recall correctly. So Bismarck is an independent Solingen German brand that's been raising, making razors also since the early 1900s and a very popular and a very good brand. 
So this modern razor is a homage more to um, the original Bismarck razors and hence you will see it's a good quality, you know, one of the high M68 um, carbon steel blanks used for this. And I think I've got a nice lather going here, it wants to run everywhere. I think, ah, the Symphony, that was uh, what I was thinking about earlier, a good quality shave. There's many things coming together, like uh, orchestra or symphony. So, good skin preparation is a component, a very important component. A healthy skin is another important consideration. A good quality soap is another one. But not just that, a good quality lather. Soap alone, um, if it's done poorly, is not going to give you the benefit and the support you require. You get a good quality edge, doesn't matter if that's a D or straight razor, you need a good quality edge. If you haven't got that, you're also going to struggle. And you need to have um, technique. So technique is something people run away from very, very easily. And those of you that uses a straight razor, would know that something if you um, put your mind to it and, and stick with it is a skill you learn really quickly. You'll also come to note that in my videos um, I'll do against the grain passes, with the grain passes and there's no consistency. The reason for this is I want to show you guys and open your minds that there is not just one traditional three pass with a grain across the grain against the grain approach. That in most cases you only need to do one pass and a touch up or two passes and that there is no need for three passes and no need to go and irritate your skin. So that's that. Let us do one, um, I don't know, let's go with a grain. So that's it, for me, with a grain, would be in that direction. My hairs grow like this, and all over in the neck. But traditionally when they say with a grain, it means north to south. So when I do a north to south pass, especially on my cheeks, it's across the grain. Does that make sense? So for me, on my very first stroke, uh, especially for me, um, I go pressure, reduce pressure, reduce pressure on each and every subsequent stroke until I'm comfortable with that. And then I try and mimic that throughout my shave. So this is where you need to take your time um, and do it like you would expect a professional barber to shave you. Small overlapping strokes. So you will see people in the beauty industry. And I know this. Because my wife's in the business, will take a a service and break it into time uh, time brackets, so it's repeatable every time. And in that regard, you need to have the same approach with your shaving. People spend a lot of time uh, doing prepping and building lather, and then they rush through their shave. Uh, I'm not sure if that uh, people always want to get to the shaving, but and miss all the other important stuff. So for me, your lathering, your shaving, and your post-shave should be third, roughly. Maybe not the post-shave, but at least your prepping and your shaving should be... So if you spend five minutes um, lathering, then, you know, take the time and do the same. We all complain straight razor shaving is a difficult 
for a long cumbersome thing, but we rush everything in between, so uh, that should not be the case. So back to the Dover. Really, it's fantastic value for money. Some people are worried about um, the gold etching on the spine. And that wearing over time and not looking pretty anymore. If that is a concern for you, then this razor is, is not for you. And it's not like I say it's going to wear. But it's a tool. If you're going to use it, it's going to wear. So I've had mine for many years. It's faintly starting to fade here. Yeah. It's maybe not that apparent on the video here on the tang where I hold it. I strop and hone without tape. Look at my spine. Obviously on a stone I don't rotate on the spine because the abrasive would take that off. Um, so these razors really maintain the, the look for a very long time. Just look after them. Unless you want to leave it in a drawer and just look at it. Really nice. What I like now about this mentholated soap is I've done the size, but if you put a little bit of water on you now, especially cold water, that uh, tingling comes back and that's um, really nice on a, on a hot day. I shave normally like this or against the grain. <clears throat> and every time, especially on my weak side, which is my left side, I'm a right eye dominant. So if I come this side, I always, it's difficult to line up and I really can't imagine that um, I started this way. I have shown you guys that if you um, maybe from a start go this way, you haven't got obstruction with your eyes and it really doesn't matter which way you go. And as I said, part of the reason why I do perform different types of passes so that you guys can see there's many ways to skin a cat and there's no right or wrong. The other thing I haven't spoken about in a very long time and people tend to forget that especially in tough areas they want to take a razor and pull it through and think you're gonna get away with it or put the blade on the beard and then start moving what I mean is you need a little bit of um, momentum before you start cutting, some inertia. So if you put a knife, a, a sword against the pole and then try and push through it, you're going to struggle. But if you come back and you've got a little of speed, it will go through the beard. So cutting speed is important, but that does not mean long, quick strokes. So either start high where it's smooth and then come into the beard or create a little area, open and then work from there. The other thing is many of you find a lot of value in, in my videos.
So for those of you um, that want to see specific stuff, leave a comment, ask me, tell me what razor you want to see next, what topics I should cover, what are you struggling with? Maybe give me some positive critique on things I can change or try and change. The soap, very good. But the only way you'll know is to have your own experience. So let's quickly evaluate. If I go with a grain, if I've done it correctly and I wasn't sloppy, I'll be BBS. I've got a watery eye. Menfo! So you can stop here. I had, um, mm, let's call it 30 hours of growth. You can stop there, no need to continue. So, um, especially if you've got a sensitive skin or, you, or you're new to it. You know, tomorrow's another day. The stuff just doesn't suddenly stop growing. So I'm going to just quickly do um, a touch-up against the grain, just so that you guys can see what is possible and what's not. I still got plenty here. I'll take this off my fingers. And we use, um, if you've got a good quality soap, it would have the necessary balance and ingredients in to ensure that your skin gets nourished. Um, so I always leave some soap left for, uh, for post-shave. It's a habit you'll see me do always. Also, um, too fast, speedy strokes can also lead to burn, razor burn. So um, consider that too. And the other thing I've come to really enjoy is this uh, Amazon rainforest when I'm in the bathroom. Something non-intrusive, very natural. Very calming. So this time for me is very um, important, it's me time. In the shower and during my shaves is where I figure out <laughs> life choices, get creative. It's important that everybody makes, look at my eyes. <laughs> um, it's important that you you find time for yourself.
Good. I haven't shared this riser in a, in some time. But your post today, which is obviously not the date of this video going live, <coughs> inspired me for this one. So what I'll maybe try and do uh, in another video is not that I need to prove anything, but you can have a, a one pass straight razor shave um, once you've done your lather. In less than two and a half minutes, even two minutes. So if you've got the proper equipment and technique, it's quick and I've showed you what you look. You can have a beard this big or stubble. If you do this, it's going to look like that. Simple as that. Single blade cuts the hair at skin level. As an example, something you can't do with a D. Right, so I've had a kick air shave. I was sloppy here. Did I actually go against the grain here? No, I didn't. This side's better. You see, I'm talking nonsense. A good quality soap allows you to do that. Okay, so that's a two pass straight razor shave. You could have done one, you could have done three passes, four passes, it really doesn't matter. Everybody's got a different um, skin type, different requirement, doesn't shave daily, maybe only shaves weekly. So that all depends from it. You've got your own requirements, your own skill level. Don't be influenced about what other people do. Understand what's capable, what works for you. Change it up so you can learn a bit. And uh, enjoy. It's a really a fantastic journey. Uh, maybe a bit about myself. I for a very long time um, did not shave because I get ingrown hairs immediately. My neck looks um, horrible. It really doesn't matter what I do. So I, um, because I've got curly hair, it grows in very thin, fine hair. They grow in very, very easily. So for a very long time I didn't shave, I used the wall um, hair clipper, very fine, um, to take a long stubble off. I've got light hair, so I can potentially get away with that most of the week if I didn't have customers to see. Um, but I didn't shave for a very long time. And then, um, because I don't shave, shave in, um, your skin also goes goes backwards if you if you don't give it um, the necessary attention. The guys that have got beards, I think you'll know this. Um, so even though you don't shave, you still need to keep your your skin healthy. So uh, and I know this. So I started um, investigating razors again. Now, what happened was I went to a proper witch uh, to a barber. Um, I can't remember where, in fact, I think it was a, a Pakistani down the road. <laughs> yeah, fancy barber. And I got a shave there, and I didn't get ingrown hairs. So I went there on a regular basis when my hair was still short, get a quick haircut and a shave and off you go. 
And when the penny dropped, and then I started looking into wet shaving, and this is where we ended today. Um, I've been talking so much nonsense, I've already cleaned my brush. The razor, as you know, the routine, warm water, um, stropping with my fingers over the edge to make sure I get any fatty soap residue off, and then dry and um, strop and put away. I'm not going to go through that on this video now. I want to um, continue with some other things I have. So, post shave, I've had the soap on. It's really absorbed a little bit into the skin. And my skin feels good, so... Um, grooming departments, hydration gel... Um, I stick with products, you'll know me, for a long time because that's the only way over time that you'll know if your skin agrees with it and what value it brings. If you jump in between products, you're most likely going to um, upset your skin and you will never know really to pinpoint um, what's causing it if when your skin goes sideways. So. In that regard, I'm done with this shave. This is all I'm doing. If I go out, which I'm not, I would put on um, sunscreen, you know that. And the, I'll put on some cologne on my chest and on the back of my neck where I haven't shaved and then I'm done for the day. Um, 